Antonio Living. If you're looking to infuse a little luck into your life, you may want to consider Feng Shui. Ping Lika is joining us this morning with USA Feng Shui Association. She is a Feng Shui master and the only one in the United States. So it's very good to have you here in San Antonio. How are you? Doing good, thank you. Okay, so if, if you've been following Ping here on San Antonio Living, we have been learning quite a bit about the art of Feng Shui. You can use it to bring in more business, uh, to bring love into your home, luck, money, all sorts of things. You can also use Feng Shui to tell if uh, a team is going to be lucky or unlucky in a particular year. Yes. For example, the Spurs. Yes, it's very important. This year is uh, 2014. This is our wood uh, horse year. So Spurs, Spurs the sign actually is a very good luck because it's, it's horse. Exactly. Oh, I'm learning a lot. Okay. Since it's a wood horse year, that's right. The sign means that they should have a good year, right? Yes, that's correct. And also, San Antonio, if you already watch us at the previous show, suppose San Antonio has a lot of good luck. So if uh, the team is uh, play in San Antonio, have a lot of chance to win. Okay. But of course, uh, it's uh, this is south, which is uh, we need a sunny day, no raining day. No rain. Yeah. If uh, no raining day, then it would be definitely win. Okay. So when they play here in San Antonio, because San Antonio is very lucky this year, they're gonna have good luck. When they're away, it's a little bit of a different story. But we need it not to rain tonight, all right? Okay, so hopefully we'll get it all done. I think the rain is supposed to stop around 12, so we should be okay. Yes. You also do face readings. And so a client can come to you, you can look at their face, and based on the structure of their face, you can tell them whether or not they're they're lucky, whether or not they're sick, whether they've got a bad relationship, right? That's correct. Can you do that with the Spurs? Yes, of okay. course. <laughs> okay, well, let's put up our first Spurs star. It's Tim Duncan. So based on Tim's face ping, what can you tell us about him he is a very good person and uh, he worked very hard for his life mm -hmm. so he could not retire he have to he can't reach you cannot retire Tim Duncan okay <laughs> keep playing then and then he's uh, also very sensitive so he need to have a lot of love and tensions ah he is a sensitive man I think you're right on there is he gonna play good tonight Yes. Okay, good, will. good, good. All right, Tony Parker, up next. Let's take a look at his face. What can you tell about Tony's face? Okay, he is a very smart person, and he also has a very good heart. The only one problem is uh, his temper. If uh, he could have uh, more patience, then everything should be under control. Okay, a little more patient. He also has a scar right here. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, this one is a uh, worries, but mostly it's angry. Oh, so take a chill pill, Tony, before you play, and we'll see how things go tonight. All right, Manu Ginobili, let's take a look at his face. He looks like a happy-go-lucky kind of guy when you look he, at his face. He is uh, want everything to be perfect, and he also wears smart, too. The only one right now, the face reading, he has a big problem in his kidneys. He should work on his uh, kidneys. His kidneys? Yes. Now, how can, what, what tips you off about the, the kidneys? nose the nose it's the nose that yeah. tells and there's a kidney eyes. problem okay yeah. and a kidney problem could be anything ranging from you know you eat too much salt to anything else right uh and also it's a lot of stress a lot of stress mm -hmm. like yeah, you, i think being a basketball player is a very stressful job one person who has a ton of stress coach pop <laughs> and he is a very um outgoing very loud kind of person what can you tell by his facial features okay first of all is a uh, uh, forehead he's a uh, very have a full of uh, wisdom he's so full of wisdom okay yes. He's a very smart person, and uh, the only one problem is uh, just uh, he keep everything to himself. Mm -hmm. So if uh, he could open himself more, he could have more happiness. Open yourself up for a little more happiness. All very useful information. So again, this is something you do for your clients. It, yes. it, it works on just about anybody, and this is an ancient technique. How long have you been studying feng shui? I studied this uh, since 2005. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our clients, they usually bring their boyfriend or husband's picture and then to make sure, hey, how's my relationship goes? <laughs> and then how's, uh, how's uh, uh, my, my, uh, my boyfriend is, uh, is uh, cheating on me? Mm -hmm. Like all that kinds of things. But, uh, but 
we another things we can say is that do they have money so that we can work on their money very interesting and of course there's a lot of little tweaks that you can learn from ping to kind of change things up and bring a little bit more luck into that relationship that's correct all right if you're looking for a facial reading or an astrological or uh, astrological is such a big word let's go with zodiac a zodiac reading ping can help you if you've got questions about love or your relationship or using feng shui in your life give ping a call she's with usa feng shui.org that's the website and again Call her right now for a free Zodiac reading. The phone number is on your screen. It's 210-706-9232, 706-9232. And if you've got any questions, shoot her an email, pinglika at gmail.com.